Hello lads, welcome back to Lad City. I'm NFTGG and today we're taking a look at Etna Network. So Etna has three main features, DeFi, NFT factory and gaming. The DeFi has two main uh, applications, DBank, the first lending borrowing network to support the use of NFTs as collateral, also grants interest-free loans to Etna holders, and the first hybrid liquidity protocol with broker buy type BBT trading feature. Now, I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to DeFi, but the NFT factory and gaming has caught my interest. The NFT factory, all-in-one marketplace factory for game assets and NFTs, Etna powered value locked NFT marketplace, instant trading of game assets with all assets value pegged on a price demand curves. I really like this feature because it allows the people that bought NFTs to trade back into tokens or liquidity or whatever they want to do with their assets very fast. Anything that gives people more options is something I really like. There's going to be two types of gaming features in this. So there will be the Tekken style fighting and there will also be kind of a simulation crypto blade style type of gameplay as well that reward people for playing the game every day. And if you're interested in that type of thing, there's going to be an airdrop for this token in the next few days. And the drop that will come with this airdrop is actually going to be so valuable to the people that will be playing to earn that passive income or to do your battles every day to earn extra money. So without further ado, let's just jump into a quick game. So what you have to do here is pick your two characters. In the demo version, there's only two. There's a faceless guy who I'm going to play. This guy's worth about $22,000 right now. And this guy's worth about $1,400 and the music and all the stuff is still it's early early demo so it's not uh, real it's not what they have in mind but this is what the fighting looks like you can jump around there's combos you can do i'm not a pro at this yet okay and we won so we win faceless wins so that was just a quick demo of what the actual fighting will look like in the future. Very, very early concept of what it will be like. I'm sure there'll be more mechanics, more polished fighting and whatnot. But let's bring us over to what the assets of the game are. And right now, as you can see, we have eight characters on screen and another two. That's 10 characters that you can buy right now as assets and play with when the game releases. Now at the top left corner of each of these portraits, you have a number. So there's only 373 of this character left. Wukong 368. The more that are bought, the more valuable the characters become. And each character will have its own built in like scholarship feature where if you, for example, have five characters and they're already sold out and people want to play with that character, you can give the person a sponsorship so they can use your character to earn money and you get a percentage. And I think that would be in a tournament style where you're actually fighting like Tekken. But there's another way to use these characters to make money when the game does release. And that will be the Crypto Blade style where you have your character like this, you bought them, and say, for example, they're all sold out, you'll be able to rent your characters or your weapons because there's other NFTs down here, like these uh, enhancements, like mounts, uh, nectar of the gods, weapons that increase your chances of winning and doing extra damage in your like artificial or algorithm battles. Uh, everything that gives you a higher percent chance of winning will give you a higher percent chance of earning more money. So for example, if you own one of these and they already sell out, people can rent them from you, increasing their chances of winning and you get a percentage. So the more assets you own in the future, the more likely you'll be able to get more income from people playing the game. So this was recently shared on their Twitter to show what the UI is going to look like. And we can kind of get a bit of information as to what to expect. So we have Apollo here. You can use three weapons and you can use uh, five enhancements. And I think this slot here is for the airdrop. So if you put that in, it's probably either going to really enhance or maybe it'll even fill up all the slots. We don't know yet. So this is the Crypto Blade style type of fighting where you'll get to pick either novice, intermediate, expert or professional. So as you can see, the professional has a 65% chance of winning and you'll earn five Etna and they will use 8% of your metabolism, which is like your stamina. So you can only use a certain amount before you have to let it recharge, I imagine, or you can use a potion or something to increase it. But it might be the case that when you run out of metabolism, you have to pay Etna tokens to keep fighting. So if you think you're going to win these fights, you can pay extra and keep continue to play. So right now, if you win, you get five Etna on the professional level, which would be roughly about $2 based on the current price of Etna right now. And right now it says it would take eight level of your metabolism. And it says the metabolism level of this character is 85. So you can do about 10 games. If you win every single one of them, you can do your 10 fights and win $2 each. That's $20 for one character. But right now, this is a lot of speculation. The UI looks nice and they're developing more and more. And the percentage chance of winning will go up if you have the airdrop that they will be releasing, which is called the Metabolism Potion. So they do have a document section on their website. And here are the options to getting game assets. You've, the first option is buy the game assets, which you can do on the Etna market. 
you have a scholarship program or you can rent NFT assets. So like I said earlier, the scholarship program will be people who own one of the 600 individual uh, mints of the characters. So the renting feature is for people that can't afford the assets but still want to play and try and have a chance of winning some money. Uh, you'll be able to just rent out the you'll be able to rent out the assets and probably get a smaller percentage of earnings compared to someone who's doing a scholarship program. Now I know for a fact a lot of this will probably change and be tweaked over the coming months. Uh, this is still so early we haven't even got to play the game yet properly. We've just played the demo. So this is the gameplay flowchart. First you log in, you have to have 100 Etna, so you have to either have it already or buy it or get sponsored. Then it goes and asks you, do you have an NFT? You either select yes I have or get one or rent. And then you select your level, you bow, there's your outcome and that's the end. You make money through that flowchart. So I normally don't refer to charts on my videos. I just talk about the projects and what's to come. But this is a game where it is still so early on. The market cap is 5 million. And as you can see on the chart, it's still pretty low when it's on the rise. And these characters are getting so expensive to buy. The characters are now about three times or two and a half times the price compared to when I bought them. So if this looks like something you'd be interested in with the tech in mechanics and then the crypto blades kind of passive income, this could be a good game to get into now because the price of these characters is only going up. There's a limited amount of them. And if you get a character right now, you are eligible in the next 10 days, you'll be eligible to get the airdrop, which is the metabolism potion, which increases your chances of winning by a lot. So to get the metabolism potion, you need one character or 500 Etna on your wallet. So what does it do? It increases your chance of victory. So for example, if your victory confidence is 60%, with the boost, it's 73.3. So that's a 13.3% chance extra of winning. Battle expectation, 3 to 3.67, or expectation in 10 uh, is 30 to 30.67. So that means that if you were just doing battles normally, if you did 10 battles and you won 30 Etna, if you did have the, the bonus from the metabolism potion, you'd be getting 36.7 um, Etna for every 10 battles. So for every 10 battles, you're making 6.7 extra Etna, which could be a lot in the long term. We are very low cap on this so far. So yeah, it's going to be a great help to get extra wins. This is not financial advice. We'll just end it on that. I hope you guys really enjoyed my take on Etna Network, and I'm really excited to see where this project goes. And I know a lot of people have already jumped on the bandwagon and are just waiting to see what happens. So I'm pretty excited about this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned something about this project. Always do your own due diligence and research on stuff that you want to jump into. Make sure to go down and subscribe to Lad City. Check them out on Twitter. And I'm NFTGG if you want to go follow me on Twitter as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.